Come on now, who doesn't love a good fish fry? I'm gonna show you how easy it is, how much more delicious it is when it's homemade. We're gonna make tartar sauce. We're gonna make a killer beer batter. It is gonna be amazing. No matter if you're celebrating the Lenten season or just happen to love fish fries, super, super good. We need to start by knocking out a little bit of prep and making that tartar sauce. Sound good? Let's cook. We're gonna go ahead and add about one cup of very full fat mayonnaise. Like I always say, fat equals flavor. And this deliciousness is gonna really help enhance the flavor of our fish fry. Next, set it to the side and I've got a yellow onion and per usual, we're gonna simply slice off the ends, slice it right in half, peel off that outer layer. And we only need about a quarter of a cup. So we're gonna finely dice those and then put them right into the bowl with the mayonnaise. Next, I've got some capers. Just give them a rough chop. There's absolutely no reason to go crazier and perfect here. We're going to add it to the bowl. And then next, I've got some dill pickles. Remember all those homemade pickles I made? We're going to finally dice those up and add them in there. It's going to be amazing. Now we're going to hit it over the top with some fresh chopped parsley. And we're going to season it well with some sea salt and fresh cracked black pepper. You could add a little Tabasco and Worcestershire here if you'd like. Go ahead and mix it until it is completely combined. And then I'm gonna throw it in the refrigerator until I'm ready to use. Now go over to your deep fryer and we're gonna crank up the heat to 350 degrees so this fish is golden brown. And if you don't have a deep fryer, don't sweat it. Just like in my churros video, all I did was add oil to a pot and get it up to 350 degrees. Guess what? You can do the exact same thing. Now let's start on that batter. Let's add one cup of all-purpose flour right to a pan or a bowl. Next, I'm gonna put in some cornstarch. This is really gonna help make that outer crust extremely light, fluffy, and thick. It's really amazing to use this. We're now going to hit it with some sparkling water. And then next, I've got some dark beer in Great British fashion. You can either go all sparkling water, all beer, or half and half, which is what I did, and that's what I really choose and like. I'm gonna stop and say when it comes to seasoning, this part's up to you a little bit. I like just salt and pepper, but you can use things like Old Bay, add a little more cayenne pepper in there. Totally, totally up to you. For me, like I said, simply season it up super, super well with sea salt and fresh cracked black pepper. And then next, of course, just grab a whisk because what we wanna do is completely mix this together, get all of the lumps out. It's gonna take a few minutes to do this. Like I said, you want it to be extremely smooth. And then the very important part to this is tasting it. Dip a spoon in there, try it out. If it's nice and salty, perfect, because this is what's gonna season up your fish. You don't have to, but go ahead and throw it in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes. Some recipes call that you should put that batter in the refrigerator, let it cool for 20 minutes. You don't necessarily have to do this. If your fish is prepared, go ahead, drop it in there, put it in the fryer, you're gonna be fine. But I'm gonna throw it in there and then we're gonna start on our fish. So I've got two different fish here just because I wanted to try two different. Got cod and walleye. Cod is much cheaper, but a nice thick cut white fish. Walleye is very similar, nice thick steaky cuts. And you could absolutely go crazy here. You could do mahi, halibut, sea bass, even salmon. This is a fish fry, so feel free to get creative. What we're gonna do here to start is just separate the belly of the fish, and then we're gonna cut it into those long four ounce type pieces or fillets. So right down the center again, and then down the middle just to get those nice perfect shapes. You don't have to go crazy. Cut the belly in half and boom, we're good to go. Okay, fair warning, this is gonna move super quickly, okay? Because we're just dunking in the fish, putting it in the fryer, and it's done. It's time to eat. Do not waste any time and pay close attention. Here we go. Go ahead and pull your batter right out of the refrigerator. It looks perfect, it's nice and cool. And of course, we've got our fish. To start this off, if you're using a deep fryer, go ahead and drop the basket because we're gonna put the fish right in there by hand. Next, grab one or two fillets at a time. We're going to completely dredge it in that beer batter. Make sure it's completely coated on all sides or else you're gonna notice and you're not gonna be happy. Now go right over to the deep fryer, give it a few waves to get it going and so it doesn't stick to the bottom. And then it's gonna take about two and a half to three minutes for this fish to be golden brown and completely cooked through. Fish is done at 145 degrees internally, just in case you wanna check. At this point, we're just going to remove it from the basket and to drain off any excess grease, you can put on paper towels or a rack that is over a cookie sheet tray to keep warm, try putting it in the oven at 225 degrees. 
Comey's, if I've said it once, I've said it 8 million times and in every video. Once you start understanding these tips and techniques like making a delicious batter, using it to fry up fish or even shrimp or whatever, this batter is amazing. You start applying these little things to all of your cooking, all of it is going to be so much more amazing than anything you can get at the store or even restaurants. I promise you, you keep following along, you are going to be the best home cook on the block. Promise you. Okay, now let's plate up and switch over to slow-mo. Of course, I'm going to serve this up on parchment paper. Who would I be if I wasn't? So go ahead and stack it high, my friends. I'm going to add a nice little jar of tartar sauce to the side. This stuff is seriously gold. Try not to eat the whole thing, even without the fish. And then, of course, I want a little fries, so hit it with that. And if you're looking for a recipe, it's the exact same one I used in my steak frites video, so check that out. These are amazing. I'm going to garnish with a little more fresh chopped parsley because, well, that's who I am. And then I'm going to, last but not least, hit it with some lemon so you can squeeze it all over there. And if you want to be a real baller, serve it up with a side of malt vinegar. Man, check out this beauty. Man, are these just so good. That batter is to die for. It is incredible. Please like this video and definitely, definitely subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to watch this video because it is a super good recipe and I'll see you on there.